Guys, what's up blimps? You like balloons? The ones you get on your birthday that you like hold with your little hand and it says ninth birthday on it. Like those things? Is, is it safe to say you love those things? Wrong. 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 You don't love them. This guy loves them. Sexually attracted to balloons. I, I couldn't make this up. This is an episode of My Strange Addiction on TLC. A lot of thoughts come into my mind. A lot of weird, weird thoughts. So let's just jump into this and find out why this lovely cowboy is sexually attracted to balloons. My name is Julius. I'm 62 years old and I'm addicted to balloons. Okay, wait, wait, let's go back a couple. This scene right here, he is in heaven right now. He is on cloud nine. Like he, he's looking straight at that orange one. You can tell he, that's the one he, he's really in love with. But all these other ones, he's like, yeah, those are all my exes. Look how big these other ones are up here. Those are massive. We got big ones. We got small ones. We got clear ones. We got, we got colored ones. This room is full of them. And he's just sitting there basking. I can just imagine him sleeping at night. And all he hears is just like the, the squeaking of the balloons together. Like, the squeak, squeak. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. <laughs> They're beautiful, they're soft, smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive, but sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. My first- <laughs> Look at this one eyebrow up. Man, I really wanna make out with this balloon eyebrow, but they're recording. This, this is the face you make when you, or at least the face I make when I look at someone and I'm like, I'm gonna mess with you tonight. While the, the orange balloon in the other room is like, ah, what the, ah, what the heck? Do you think he gives them like names? Sup, Jessica? You are one red balloon. Sorry, I rushed there, but. <laughs> First reaction was, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. No, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Look, it's even more full than before. When they shot the other shot before, they're like, yeah, can we move some of these balloons out of here so we can actually see you, Julius? Sure, but don't pop them. Don't, don't pop them. Keep them just, just keep them in the hallway. Bye, Felicia. Bye. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. Bye. Also, can we talk about how he started this four decades ago? Like, sure, kids are normally, like, attracted to, like, color and, like, bright colors. But, like, I, I guess it doesn't state that he he was sexually attracted to them at a young age, but it started at a, at a young age. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe this just stemmed from, like, him being really attracted to color. Could be a thing. Could be a thing. I don't know. Like, like, imagine this. He's like, he's like in a party city and he's like, whoa, like there's like cute girls and guys behind him. And he's like, he's like, the, but these balloons though, case cracked, I think. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. I, I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical ones. Why? I, I don't know. I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Julius is so addicted, he eats- I gotta, I gotta admit, I kinda, I kinda like this guy. Although it's strange, he is very accepting of all balloons. Much like we all should be accepting of each other. It's a good message. Just one that you have to really look deep into. <laughs> I mean, yes, there's, there's probably more clear balloons in his room than, than other balloons. But hey, they are all pretty. They are all- they all round. Even has an entire room dedicated to balloons. This is my balloon sanctuary. 
And I have uh, magenta, purple, yellow, blue, red, and clear. I don't have many white ones, but I try to put the white ones in there like there's a white one over there. And then I've got some orange and yellow and green. One of my favorite balloons is the weather balloon. It's very delicate uh, and soft and, and smooth. It's probably one of the softest balloons I've got. I sleep in my balloon room every night. How long do you think it took for them to re record that, that scene of him describing the balloons? No one probably asks about his balloons. Yeah, yeah my, my girlfriend, she's, uh, she's so pretty. Oh, yeah? Like, tell me about her, man. Who, who is she? She's, she's crazy. She's this orange balloon. And oh, okay. She's just so soft and yeah, squishy. Uh, taxi. And Poor Julius. Like, no one asks about his balloons. And as soon as someone does, he's just like, yeah, this one, I got the, the weather balloon. I got the orange ones over there. Um, man, but this one's my favorite. It's so soft. And, and you want to you feel it? You, you want to feel it? You, you, come on, you want to feel it? Yeah, uh, taxi. You want to... When I wake up in the morning, it's like being in balloon heaven. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused. I'll take a 12. <laughs> Not the flaccid balloon. <laughs> Julius, why are you tugging on that balloon? <laughs> I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? <laughs> Wait, this is a thing. I mean, I don't, I don't mean that in a rude way, but this is, this is a thing. A lunar is a nickname for people who, with a sexual fetish for balloons. You mean to tell me Julius isn't alone? Maybe they're onto something. Balloons can't hurt your feelings. They can only just float. There's a lot of people out there that didn't feel the same way as I do about Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. No, okay. No, 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 no. No. Oh my god. This is a wild combo. Feet and balloons. Feet and balloons. Things I have never known existed. Oh my. Uh, balloons. But there's two groups uh, of the lunar group. You got the poppers that get aroused by popping balloons. And you got your non-poppers. No, 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 no. Why would you pop them? How is that arousing? Like, is it the same feeling you get when like, you're like, oh, that, that cat's really cute. I just wanna, mm. I am blown away. I am blown away. <laughs> We're not even halfway through this video yet. <laughs> We're three minutes in. Balloon started when he was hospitalized at just four years old. My mother come to visit one time and she gave me a, a real nice blue balloon. But that night the nurse grabbed it and I heard the balloon pop, so. After she left, I just cried myself to sleep. Since then, the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius, and he even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. I'll go to car dealerships and uh, do what I call a balloon rescue. Oh, oh, he rescues balloons in danger. Not only is Julius a non-popper, but he's a superhero. But Julius doesn't share his extreme love for balloons with many people. The only people that know him is my family. My wife thinks it's strange, but she accepts it. Wife? Wife? Julius's wife refused to participate in filming. Oh, that's because it's just a balloon. Today, his nephew, who's also an addiction counselor, wants to confront the issue and convince Julius to see a therapist. I've heard through the family a little talk about your balloons, uh -huh. about your balloon room. So what kind of questions do you have? What do you get out of Well, Julius, 
Um, what do you feel about the Macy's parade? Huh? There's sexual overtones to it. Really? Yeah. What is it that gives you that sense? Is it a smell or a feel? It's all of it. It's all of it. It's the feel, the smell. The looks. The looks, and I don't want to go any further into that. Okay. You ever think that maybe there's... Why are they making this out to be some type of horror movie? Close-up shots of Julius. <laughs> Julius is just, like, sitting back, like... Nah, I just, I don't know. I blow them up and they become my friends. I feel cool around them. He's literally not hurting anybody. He just has friends. There's no reason why he shouldn't... I mean, sure, it's a, it's a strange addiction, which is why it's on this show. But, like, he's not hurting anybody. Nor is he hurting himself. He's just living his life. Something wrong? Nope. No, yeah. nothing. Look at that. He he is so proud. Something wrong. Nope. He did a little, like, little like, just a quick little head shake to say, nope, nope, nope. This is why. This is why I love Julius. He has no problem like admitting the fact that he's addicted to balloons. He is so in tune with himself. Like he he's like, I know it's weird. Whatever. Balloons. Everyone likes them. I just like them a little bit more. Definite no. Definite no. Uh, hell, I've been doing it too long. Wow. So how long have you been doing it? How many years all together? Stop asking questions. He he obviously doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> I've collected these balloons. Oh, collecting them? I started when I was about eight. Okay. All right. His nephew here thinks this is like like an intervention. Julius is just taking this as an, like an interview. Look at his position. I know, I know you can't see me, but that's okay. If, if you're ever in a weird and uncomfortable position, like sharing information, do you sit like this? No. Nope. Like, if you're ever embarrassed about something you're talking about, do you sit like this? Do you ever, like, sit back, chest wide, completely open to the other side, just going, nope? The episode should have just stopped there. Nope. And then credits roll. Something wrong? Nope. Y'all, yeah, I'll be showing you. Okay. And I've got some that's over 40 years old. Really? Yeah. Nephew, I want to see you take care of anything for 40 years. Anything. You try. You try and take care of a toy for 40 years. I bet you couldn't. I bet you, you could not. That means he probably had that balloon since he was in the hospital when he was younger. Is it, does it cost a lot of money doing this? No, I don't think so. Uh, there's people that spend more money uh, buying guns. Have you ever thought about going and, and, and talking to somebody about it? I don't have a problem. Right, right. So why be concerned? Everybody's trying to make me... <laughs> Stop! He obviously doesn't have a problem. He said that before. Stop! Think like I got a problem. I yeah. don't. Yeah. Give it up. These questions that I ask, they're just strictly out of love and concern. And I don't want you to think that there's anything else in that. Would you be willing to go... So stop there. So stop, stop there. And you said, oh, this is just out of love and concern. Boom. Period. Period. Right there. Stop. If you want to have a good relationship with this man, stop. <laughs> he is so annoyed, but so confident that you're not going to get anything out of him. It's not hurting anybody. The only reason you're doing this is because TLC is like, you better ask more questions. They're like, ask him, ask him about the powder. Ask him about the powder. The powder in the, in, the, in the boxes he puts them in. What's his longest balloon? To go and, and, and talk to somebody. Okay. I've seen a psychologist before, and about the only thing he said to me is, well, you're not hurting anybody, so why worry about it? Well, I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, and I'm going to continue to love balloons because that's what makes me happy. Wow. Wow. What... So, moral of the story, if you love balloons on a sexual level, keep doing it. At least that's what I got out of this. Because it's not hurting anybody. Actually, if anything, it's helping the environment. Saving balloons, I mean, literally saving balloons, tucking them in little boxes, piles them up, 
and like puts them somewhere that's better for the environment who can blame blame this guy for liking little just balloons i don't i don't know the the only time we heard julius talk about anything really deeply was about his balloons when they told him hey this is a little strange you should probably talk to somebody he goes i've been doing it for forever i don't I don't, plus I'm old. I want to just keep doing this for the rest of my life. I enjoy it. I'm, I'm really proud of Julius for not cracking, to be honest. It literally ended, it ended with him just going, okay. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of My Strange Addiction. I actually kind of enjoyed making this video. And um, if, if you enjoyed watching it, um, honestly, give a like uh, so I know you want to see this more. Um, subscribe if you want to. There's no obligation, but like you're more than welcome to. I would really enjoy it, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully wanting to do more of these, but just let me know because I actually enjoyed doing this. So catch you later, blimps. Bye.